Meghan Markle baby, why did Meghan have wet, shiny arms and Tonga visit? Meghan Markle has impressed fans with her stunning array of outfits during her tour around Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. But why did Meghan have wet, shiny arms in her Tonga visit? The mum-to-be attended a welcome reception and dinner with King Tupu VI and Queen Nana Zipoa'u in Tonga on Wednesday evening. The Duchess of Sussex wore a white cap sleeve dress for the engagement. However, Eagle-eyed royal fans noticed her arms were looking unusually shiny. Why did Meghan have wet, shiny arms in Tonga visit? The Duchess ensured she protected herself against the devastating Zika virus during her trip to Tonga. Her arms appeared wet and shiny as she was wearing insect repellent to ward off mosquitoes. Professor James G. Logan, head of the Department of Disease Control at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine advised people. Come why repellent is so important for pregnant women. He said, the advice would be to wear a repellent which contains an active ingredient and wear that repellent all day and all evening. You have to put the repellent on like a hand cream. You have to really rub it in. If you squirt it on like a perfume, that won't do anything because the mosquito will find a bit that's not covered. A spray or a lotion is fine but really rub it in and reapply it often. There are four active ingredients. One of the main ones is DEET and it's safe to use that during pregnancy. Why is the Zika virus so deadly? The World Health Organization classified Tonga in March as a Category 1 risk. This means it is an area with new introduction or reintroduction with ongoing transmission of the Zika virus. The virus can cause serious birth defects including microcephaly. Harry and Meghan will most likely have sought medical advice about the Zika virus. Meghan also avoided a trip into the forest during their visit to Fiji to ensure her unborn baby was safe, while Harry went on his own. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry appeared at their first engagement of the day on Friday morning to meet the Prime Minister of Tonga and other cabinet ministers at the St. George Government Building in Nukulafa. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are midway through their first major royal tour since they tied the knot last May, and it comes only days after they announced Meghan's pregnancy. On the 11th day of their landmark trip, the royal couple will take part in several engagements, including another Queen's Commonwealth canopy unveiling before returning to Sydney. After meeting the Tongan Prime Minister this morning, the couple will head to the Toloa Rainforest, where Prince Harry will dedicate it to the Queen's canopy project. It is not yet clear whether Meghan will attend, as she skipped her husband's visit to a forest in Fiji as a precautionary measure against mosquitoes. The World Health Organization classified Tonga in March as a Category 1 risk region for the Zika virus. This means it is an area with new introduction or reintroduction with ongoing transmission of the virus, which can cause serious birth defects, including microcephaly. The Duchess has nevertheless taken measures to protect herself against the devastating Zika virus during her trip. Meghan Markle told Take Care of Yourself by Concerned Guest at Tonga Reception. Pregnant Meghan Markle has been urged to take care of herself by a concerned guest at a lavish reception and dinner the mother to be attended with Prince Harry, after the royal couple arrived in Tonga earlier today as part of their 16-day Commonwealth tour. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex mingled with dignitaries at the glitzy evening event hosted by the King and Queen of Tonga at Consular House in the capital Nukulafa. Meghan met Justice Charles Cato, a New Zealand judge, and his Russian wife, Miriam. Mrs. Cato, who is a doctor, asked pregnant Meghan to take care of herself as she continues her busy overseas tour. Mrs. Cato said, I asked, how does she feel? She responded very well. Thank you. I said no visible signs yet. The Duchess looked down at the front of her dress and laughed in agreement with the comment. Mrs. Cato added, As a doctor, I was a bit concerned about her taking all these long trips. I'm a mother of two. I know how it feels. I asked her to take care of herself. She promised to do so. Harry and Meghan also met a number of government ministers at the reception. Meghan revealed her growing baby bump as she stepped out in a floor-length white gown for the dinner. The Duchess held her hand over her bump as she enjoyed the reception with her dashing prince who was proudly wearing his military medals. Meghan has showed no signs of slowing down since arriving in Tonga after the Duchess pulled out of several planned engagements in Australia due to her pregnancy. Speaking at the dinner, Harry thanked guests for their welcome in Tonga. He said, My grandparents have visited a number of times and your majesties have been frequent visitors to see my family over the years. We have a strong bond as members of the Commonwealth, 
We share so much history and common values. Tongan soldiers served with our allies during the First and Second World Wars and later independently to offer support in Iraq and Afghanistan. We are deeply grateful to you all for welcoming Megan and me to Tonga Tapu, the main island of Tonga, and to your majesties for making us feel at home here. The Duke and Duchess's overseas tour has seen them visit Australia, Fiji, and Tonga. The royal couple will return to Australia before ending the tour in New Zealand.